I went to Australia house in London down in Strand, had a look at it, mm, you know, and I thought, okay, this is it. When we came from the airport to North, when staying in North Sydney in, in, in a hotel, uh, we went down Oreedon Street, which is the old way to the airport. And there was a lot of this industrial, old industrial things. And, and I was looking and I was thinking, ooh, and I made the right choice, you know. But as soon as we, you know, hit the harbour and harbour bridge, and then we stay, we stayed in a hotel on, in North Sydney, which overlooks the harbour and the bridge and the mm -hmm. Opera House, we thought, wow, you know. It wasn't as multicultural and ex accepted as it is now. I think I find it that, you know, I think the Greek and Italians probably were probably most accepted because the, the Greeks ran the cafes and, and the Italians had, the, you know, good restaurants and... The, um, but I wasn't really uh, sort of rejected, you know. Do you know what I mean? But it, you, you know, you, you know, racism is exists everywhere in every every place in the world. Every country you go to, local people are protective of what they have got. You know, I mean, looking for a job was wasn't, wasn't easy. You know, um, I had a pretty good job in London, and when I got here, you know, it was a struggle for a long time, and. Um, yeah, I find I, I did come across the racism. I was called "wog" many times, you know, but, but I always my answer was I'm proud of it, you know. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, there was there was nothing, nothing. Uh, I didn't get offended by it, but um, <clears throat> and mainly by ignorant people, you know, usually by people who um, lesser educa education and and people who've never been anywhere, you know, outside this country or their own little <laughs> suburb they live in. They're from mainly they're in mainly, you know, and that's. They think this is the center of the planet, you know. Even at that time, I, 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 we came here, I could see that there, there are changes happening, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, we came here in 1982, so um, the changes are already happening. Massive changes, huge changes, you know, it's, it's, it's incredible. Um, I would say that the men change more than than anybody. Uh, I found the Aussie men when I came here quite <laughs> <laughs> rough, you know, and, and I, I remember, you know, being dressed, bringing all these clothes from London and everywhere, whenever we went somewhere I looked out of the place, you know, <laughs> mm. and um, went to a party, I didn't bring the slab of beer, I brought a six pack of Cronenberg, you know, which I uh, said, what is fuck that, you know. Every place you go to, if you're a stranger, and you try to to bring some changes to that place you move in, they will reject you. All the critical things that I saw about Sydney, and you know, I just put, pushed it away because, you know, I realised, you know, when I went away, you know, that actually there's a lot more good points than the bad points because it, nothing is perfect in life, you know, so you won't find the perfect city to live. But Sydney comes the closest to me.